Okay, I'm doing a Thursday live again. So thanks everyone for asking questions and sending a bunch of messages. I, I struggle to get through them or I'm really positive and, um, on how much people watch this. So I'll, I'll just talk real quickly what's going on. We buy a lot of these engines. They're the 120R engines by Screaming Eagle. They're actually not a bad engine like for the money, you know, like they're quite, quite cheap for what you get. Um, it's got CNC ported heads. Obviously when we get the engine we do a couple of things, so the cams are going to come out of this, um, the heads are going to come off real quick. Uh, that's just how we do engines, like we just go over a couple of things and just to make this thing go really hard. So it'll get tuned and that is the most important thing. If you buy a 120R, you come to us and get it tuned properly and it'll last a long time. I wanted to show you a bike in the dyno room, but I can't. It's in the middle of, and there's things going on in there that I, uh, I keep to myself how we do things. But we had a bike turn up today, and it had a it was a brand new M8, and and it's done 600 k's, and the front header is like blistered hot. And um, Mark said that it runs like I just picked the bike up. It runs like a 10 year old Harley. This is the second M8 he's had, so. Yeah, he just picked it up new and, it, and it's not running good and we pulled the heat shields off it and the actual front header is blistered, the chrome's all blistered. It's not the pipe's fault and the other cylinder's cold, so that's how they can come out. You've got to get them checked out by us and we can fix them up. Um, also, um, just some important things. This is a sports that I talked about. Uh, coming for a service uh, and a lady's riding it to, she's riding it to Northern Territory um, and she just come in for a service and we noticed a one piece of little metal like really fine bit in the service so for people home servicing try and come here every now and again and get it serviced not saying that was home service but it was just service it, it obviously something that been overlooked and um, the gearbox um, had a broken dog in it right the dogs what locks in the gears uh, that's catastrophic like we only found a little piece like a millimeter by millimeter and Steve was really good to find that but this piece here could jam up here and lock the wheel up around a corner or or anything that's Ashton my son's stuck in a scooter at school holidays but um, yeah so that's why people come here they want things checked and there's also some little inherent things that um, go wrong with these bikes and this is a stator it's on its way getting burned out uh, the, it's it's hot this should be brown this stator uh, look you can see it's it's not in real good condition so there's a couple of little things that we've done to the sports stuff um, they're a cassette gearbox and they're not too hard to pull out uh, there's a couple little springs here I'm replacing uh, which I know play up uh, in around this sort of vintage or K, you know, 20,000, K mark, 30,000. Uh, so, also here we've got the... Graham. Uh, Graham here, uh, he's just rode in from... Where did you Wesley. Wesley, so he's been referred by one of our customers. He just picked up this Victory. It's a really nice bike, actually. It's getting a set of tyres put on it. Um, we're going to check Sorry. out some things. He's just bought it, so he wants us to check it out. Suspension... He said it's got an air leak. Uh, we're going to service it, even though it's probably been done in the shop when he got it. Uh, he just wants to check over and service it. So welcome, Graham. Thanks heaps. The only other thing I was going to mention was, uh, um, oh, Paul Costa. He's asking about a tire shredder kit. Uh, there's someone got one uh, for sale secondhand. Uh, they're not a bad thing, but as I say again, as long as we pull the heads down go through some things, make some really nice changes, some racy changes for longevity, for power. And um, you know, Paul, we can make those things go fast or any bike go fast. So uh, yeah, look, if you can get one of them in a box, cheap, that's good. I'm preference to use SNS a lot of times. We just built another motor. We, we're really proud of our 110 motor at the moment. I haven't liked the first stages of the 110 engine, um, the hot up from the 103 in the twin cam. And so basically I've revisited a few things and, and in the cylinder heads and stuff like that and making a massive power, massive over rev, really linear all the way through. I, I, I rode this um, Dyna, uh, 
this morning. Um, and it, I, I was like chucking, don't worry about it. I was just chucking wheelies, riding it around, you know what I mean? It was just a nice bike. Um, what's the customer's name? Jesson. Jesson. You know Jesson and I'd be all right with a wheelie or two. But, hey, look, thanks heaps, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for asking me to do it. I, I sometimes get busy and feel like, oh, you know, have I got time and all that. And just everyone asking me stuff and coming here because I'm telling them and showing them what's real. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's not real and uh, I just like to keep it real. Have a shout out to to Luke. Luke. Aiden. Aiden. Hey, oh, how you doing, Aiden? <laughs> Luke. That's Brett. All. Brett. Hey, thanks heaps, guys. And I just, I just can't believe something so small can turn out so big and people, you know, look for what we're doing and um, see that we're the best. Um, Stephen saying thanks. His bike's coming down soon we got it we sent him a shirt oh okay cool you got a shirt thanks steve hey thanks heaps guys and let I, us know where you're from yeah let us know what your thoughts and pass on to friends and you know i'm i'm just loving motorbikes and uh loving race i'm loving helping you guys and and ladies and jared with and, the 120 hours oh jared you hey that's your 120 hour that's sick <laughs> You're going to have some fun with that, mate. That's a nice bike. I'm glad you're watching, mate. And, Simon um, Stevens is watching. Yeah, so look, how high Simon. Hey, um, I'm just really positive and I'm really positive with my staff. You know, we've had some um, challenges. You know, it's been really, really working hard and we've been getting a lot done. And I'm just real proud of the guys and the girls here. We're just doing really good stuff good things and making everyone happy so last shout out to andy andy which andy <laughs> andy catching <laughs> andy oh how you going andy how you going up there mate it's cold down here you made a good idea to move up there <laughs> i'm gonna fly because I, I can't say hello to many more people it's getting too much but talk soon thanks guys sir. <laughs>